All electronic imports into Commander have a similar flow. You start at the import screen where you select the raw data file that has been either pushed or pulled into the system. You select the one you want. As with all the import modules, a copy of the raw file is automatically archived. The next step is the processing of the raw data. Commander will convert and index the incoming data with a few clicks. On the next screen, select the settlement you want to process, and you convert it into a form usable by Commander. At this point, you can view or report a credit card credits that have been allowed by the card supplier. On the left, you see the locations that have credit card settlements in this batch. You click on any one of those and jump to that section of the report. This is a complete and detailed look at the incoming card settlement. After reviewing this report, which is optional but recommended, you finalize the conversion process. Notice the Edit Settlement button to the right. Unlike other packages, Commander gives you a complete editing capability for any detail of an incoming card batch. And also remember that vendor payables are updated with these credit card credits also. After updating the system with the credit card settlement, let's look at a retail location for which we have chosen to put the credit card credits into its AR. And there is settlement number 114. When posting card credits like this, which is really the traditional way of doing it, the credits can be consumed during receipt on accounts entry. Let's look at the other way the commander lets you consume credit cards. Here we are in customer invoicing. We have a wholesale customer invoice here waiting to be finalized. We can apply credit card credits directly against any wholesale invoice in the amount we choose on the fly, thus producing a net invoice to the customer. Click on the Payment tab. To apply credit card credits, click the big button. You can filter the credit card credits available by using a Through Date feature. These are the credit card credits available for this dealer through the date of our search. We want to choose just certain ones to apply, so first we deselect all of them. And now you can simply select the ones that you want. Notice the running total that is kept in the upper right of the screen. And now you just apply them. And then you approve this. Now we see the invoice will net out to $5,633.94. All we have to do now is print it and distribute it. The first page of the resulting invoice shows the sum of the credit card credits applied. But when credit card credits are applied like this to a wholesale invoice, an additional page always gets created, which is called the credit card voucher. Your customers will use this to verify credit card credits against their own records. Credit card credits can also be consumed in pretty much the same way on C-Store and consign dealer's invoices. We have jumped over to the dealer billing program to show this. Just click the button. Exactly the same thing here. And you use the same methods of selection or deselection. You can finalize this type of invoice with subsequent payment selections. And now we can print this invoice and get it to the dealer. Page 1. Notice the credit card sum and the net amount due. And then the credit card voucher. We haven't seen any steps to get the credit card fee expenses posted or the vendor payables updated because there aren't any additional steps. Just doing what you saw updates receivables, expenses, and payables.